Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome to Train Simulator. Today I'm having a look at the Somerset Dorset Joint Railway. We're, uh, we're driving a Black 5 and we're going to do this mission swift and delightful. Drive the Black 5 over the gentle southern part of the Somerset and Dorset route. Stop off at three stations along the way to pick up passengers, keeping to the turntable as you go. 20 minutes, easy. So, spring afternoon, let's go. Um, I have been playing quite a bit of Train Sim recently. Uh, it's, I do enjoy it a lot. I'm recording this 30th of July, so next month, August, we've got a big event in simulation gaming. We've got the new flight simulator coming, but I will also be playing a bit more train simulator this year. Uh, I'm looking out for a new DLC, which is a Euro style route. So this won't be the last train sim video um, in a while. I will be doing a few more. The game is running incredibly well, 140 FPS I get sometimes, 125 at the moment. So yeah, pretty good. Um, let's put the light on the front, because it's a little bit uh, dark. Blow the whistle, and off we go. Oh yeah, Black 5, lovely. I've left the graphics at um, default on highest. And it has put on this like weird depth of field filter, so I'm trying it with it on. I think it looks alright, it makes, makes it feel a little bit more realistic maybe. I might turn it off though. It's a, it can be a bit annoying when you can't get it to focus properly but yeah it, 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 makes, it game, makes the game feel a little bit more lifelike sometimes. Not always, it's not a perfect system. The graphics in this game are kind of poor. Um, you see we're getting 140 FPS but the game doesn't have support for higher hertz than 60. So yeah, we're getting 60, basically. That's all I can see on my screen. I've got 144 hertz monitor. But yeah. This is a short route, 20 minutes. It's going to be fun. We've got any carriages? Yeah, I've got this first class. No, I think this is actually the um, first time I've ever driven a steam train in this. On this channel, I mean. So yeah, if you look, if you put the blower on, if you look in here, it's quite low quality textures. I think this is the same model um, as Microsoft Train Simulator had, and that's, that's a really old game. So yeah, first time I've driven a steam train on this channel. Quite a slow route by the looks. We've only got a 30 mile per hour speed limit. Whoa, and that's probably why, because we're changing tracks. So I think this is a historic route. I think it's set in like the 50s. Seventy, there you go. Right, let's go. Now I have to play outside in this. Um, in these steam trains, because front view here, pretty poor. Oh! Got a view inside there. Um, so this is quite an old route. I will leave a link to it down in the description. Uh, if you bought one of the older versions of Train Sim, you probably already have it. Um, I did, and I don't remember buying it individually, so yeah. It seems to be one of the ones that came with the Train Sim uh, versions. Put that there. Let's give it some more coal and water. Yeah, going well. Forty five miles per hour. Seam trains are just so much more fun, right? They're much, uh, they're a lot less clinical, they're very, there's a lot of passion that goes into these. You get a lot more passionate about a, a steam train than a, you know, a Intercity 125 or whatever. Or maybe, you know, that's, that's quite a, a cult classic train, I suppose, it's quite a revered train. But yeah, steam trains just can't beat them, really. 
I like the diesel trains, I love the steam trains, it's like, you know, can't really compare the two. And this thing goes, you know, 52 miles an hour already. It's probably a little bit slower than the equivalent trains that be running on this line today. I don't know if this line actually still exists. My knowledge of it is quite limited. Um, it would be interesting if it did. Going under a bridge. It's cool. Okay, so we're coming up to Wind Canton 1. We need to arrive 421. It's part 421. And we're going to arrive pretty much on time. So when we get to a mile, we're going to stop accelerating. Put the blower on. Oh, I need to give it more coal. I hope I don't mess up. Sometimes I mess up by uh, over filling the water. At least the game's running at 60 FPS, you know, or above. Right. Brakes. Okay, we're coming in. Another train's just left. I'm gonna get blasted with smoke here. Oh. Alright, we're gonna stop giving it coal now. So yeah, when this video gets released, it'll be August. Yeah, drawing it ever closer to the release of um, Microsoft Flight Sim. The new one. It's going to be great. That's going to be a main feature on this channel for a bit. But I will come back to Train Sim. I'll be doing lots of things. When, I, when the uh, Eurostar route I've talked about before comes out, I'll be doing a bit of that. Quite a bit of that, actually. I'm probably going to be playing all the missions on it. I can, um, which is going to be great. Okay, I've overrun a bit. Uh, I've, I thought the train was longer than the platform, so I kind of messed up there. Never mind. Yeah, it's one one carriage. That's not too bad. So where are you? Win Win Canton. Lovely. Oh dear, the, the models just are not good. They really need to update these. I mean, look, they're in, they're in the wall. Continue to cull. Turn the blower off. Are we going? Yeah. Hello. Wow. See, the models here are alright. They're not amazing. <laughs> the depth of field. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Blurry? Not blurry. That's weird. I was looking right at him. You'd think it wouldn't have that much depth of field on him there. Anyway. Going to Coal, and then we're going to Evercreech Junction One. We're chugging up this hill. This well, it's quite a small hill, but steam trains not best suited for hills like this. I'd love to go on a Heritage Railway, like, this summer, but I don't think too many of them are going to be open because of the pandemic, so, you know. I 
course I love the old fashioned signals. To be honest, they probably require more maintenance because it's got a moving part, right? And the new ones probably break because of the bulbs going or something. Or maybe they're LED now, I don't know. Yeah, building up speed, this is good. We're going to arrive 4.29, so we're pretty much on schedule. Just get a bit more speed going. here or on the right there you go Ooh, we're flying yeah are we going downhill I can't tell it's, good. it's got a good this Black 5 has a lot of speed on it. I drove the Peppercorn class, which you'd think would be a much more powerful engine, but this is similar, really. The A1, sorry. You know, the one that they, like a society, rebuilt because they'd all been destroyed, scrapped. A bit, get a bit more juice. There you go. I think we can get up to 70 on this straight. That'd be cool. Should we whistle? Right, more water and coal. Ah, hell. Light hill. That slowed us down a bit. What are we going to get up to on the uh, down bit? Here. Yeah. Yep, 64. Yeah, 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 it's climbing. 66. I want to get to 70 and then start braking. 67. Let's go. 68. 69 70 perfect right start braking lower need to brake a bit more then we've got a 45 limit after the station I braked a bit too much, I think. So did the drivers like learn the braking points back then, or...? They must have had to, it must be very easy to know. You just look for... Whoa! Maybe there was a marker by the track, or... I'm not seeing it or something. Or maybe they just use landmarks, like which lamppost. Are these lights, or what are they? I don't know, I think they're lights. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. Due 429, we'll be there pretty much on time. We don't speed it, uh, slow down too much. Yep. Right, brakes. A lot of brakes. A lot of brakes. Oh no, that's... yeah, well... Yeah, I think we've done it. Let's 
try and get not the last catch because that's the guard. Perfect. Oh yeah. Oh that's good. Happy with that. Okay, it might be a I might be a little bit late. Um Whoa, you see when you look up a tiny bit, the buildings over there get really which I, I know that's like tilt shift or whatever, but it seems a little bit strong the depth of field effect. That's on by default, actually, I just want to point out. At least on the highest setting. Um yeah, this river bank doesn't look too good and you can't you can actually sort of see it. Oh no, you can't. Yeah, I mean it would it'd be worse if you could see it, but you can't really see it from here. Also it's water gauge. Interact with it? No. Okay. Right, coal and water. Why is this taking so long? More people getting on, that's... okay. Where does this go? <laughs> this just goes to a fence. Yeah, that's the weird thing about this game. How'd you get off the station? Where'd you go? Uh, weird. Okay, we're two minutes late departing for some reason. Better go. It's only a standard mission. It's not too bad that we're late. Adds to the realism, right? That we're late. Right, off we go. 2.7 miles. We've got to get there at 4.36. It's saying 4.35 we're going to get there, so that's alright. Might not be late after all. Turn the blower off. There you go. And then we go back to 70 here, okay. Yeah, any slower than 45 up here? I mean, it, is, it does get a bit windy. Oh! What's that there? Centre view? Okay, so they've shown like a... Oh, look at that. Taunton. Westbury. That's cool, so I've shown another line going underneath. You'd have thought that they've made some kind of connection here. So you could get onto this line from there. But maybe there is somewhere else. I don't know. It's quite difficult to connect to intersecting train tracks like that, like that right? It's not like a road. Um, okay. Back up to the 70 limit, right in time, because we're about to speed. Get a bit more water and coal, whoa. Speeding, there you go. That's alright. I think, I think it's the end of the line we're going to, maybe? No, it's not. But we've got a low speed freight coming through. I'll see that in a minute. Oh, look at that! The road crossings. And there it goes! Wow. I like that. Okay. Any cars waiting? No. Would have been nice if they'd have put a few cars on that road, but there you go. Can you see it yet? Yeah, there it is, the low speed freight. There's another crossing. I feel like we should be whistling before these. Um, there you go. I did a little toot. No, it is down the line, look. 
End of our route anyway. Oh look at that. <laughs> Looks empty but Right. Let's use the hill to slow down. Put the blower on. And start braking. A lot, I think. Yeah, when you start braking. We are on time. Perfect. A few cars coming up the road, look. And a truck. Okay. And they do stop. Wow. Where should we stop? Um, is the platform long enough? I don't think it is. Again. We'll stop a bit further than we did last time. There, that's good. So now first class has to walk back a bit, but the train is on. Oops, wrong button. Open the doors, perfect. So this is Evercreech Junction, which is a, well, tiny place. Looks like there's just about room for a car park here, and that's it. So if you got off here, well, it looks like a, I don't know, maybe, is that a factory, or what is that? It's a little, little town there, so I guess, People just have to walk over there, but yeah, it doesn't look there's much here. So this is, this is an old map. I think it's probably like 10 years old now when this was made, at least. Um, and it is set set like a period time, so just just seems a little bit sparse. Maybe it's cool. Just the detail on this map is a little bit sparse. And this is taking ages again, but we made it. So you can just continue around here, just not that way. Go up here. So that just continues down the line. Well done! You've arrived at your final destination, Evercreech Station. On time, good. You are try you're ready to try some of the more challenging jobs. Well, maybe I will. Um, I'm going to come back to Train Sim soon. Um, next video you'll see from me will be on Microsoft Flight Simulator, hopefully. So yeah, that'd be great. And I'll see you soon for some more Simulator adventures. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content from my channel and check out these videos to see more simulation gaming on Simulator Adventures.